I think Alec Baldwin does a great Trump impression. But why does it have to be so mean? Who writes that stuff? I guess it's mostly Michael Che. <laughs> Yep, that was Colin Joe shamelessly throwing Michael Che under the bus as this week's episode of Saturday Night Live celebrated Mother's Day by bringing out several cast members' moms who took the show to task for its coverage of President Donald Trump. The political overtones continued in a spin-off of The Handmaid's Tale called Handmaids in the City, starring returning host Amy Schumer. Plus, we got to meet Michael Che's stepmom, who turned out to look a lot like Melissa McCarthy. Who knew? You may not have grown in my tummy, but I love putting you right around my tummy, don't I? <laughs> but we kick off with some more mums from the cold open as we look back at this week's SNL must-see moments. We learned a lot in the Mother's Day themed opening, including where veteran cast member Keenan Thompson probably got his sense of humour. Meet the woman Thompson called his sweet little mummy, Anne. Keenan, I can't imagine this show without you. Like, I actually can't remember when you weren't on it. Oh, nice. But most of the sketch was devoted to family members who weren't thrilled with the show's politics. Here's Chris Redd's mother suggesting a very different direction for SNL and the country. I don't understand why everyone focuses on Trump at all, when you should be focused on Jesus. OK. <laughs> well, well, Jesus isn't president, Mom. And that's the problem. OK, come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, second-time host Amy Schumer starred as Off Red in a tease for Handmaids in the City, a new version of Sex in the City updated for our current political climate. You'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll say, oh my god, this so could be me and my friends, you know, with the way things are going. Handmaid pals Schumer, Cecily Strong, Kate McKinnon, and A.D. Bryant discuss their relationship issues, including this problem with McKinnon's commanding officer. Oh, it's his ex. His last handmaid hung herself, and he's just not over mm -hmm. it. So you're saying he's hung up on her. <laughs> Sadly, the party ended when Offred was tased by a guard. While she lamented the loss of her rights in this new world, Schumer's character consoled herself with this. At least she looks good in red. Handmaids in the city. If you're not traumatized, you're not watching TV. Melissa McCarthy returned to SNL this week in a guest role as Michael Che's stepmom. After crashing Weekend Update and hovering around Che's desk for a bit, she sat down next to him and insisted that he should continue his work. Here's Che trying to deliver a joke about Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani resigned <laughs> from his law firm after his... I have a different head! <laughs> the Che never really got back on track with all the interruptions. It's clear that McCarthy had nothing but love for her stepson. You've got something that... What is on your face? <laughs> it's me! And finally, we had another triumphant weekend update return, this time from Heidi Gardner as our favorite teenage YouTuber and movie expert, Bailey Gizmet. While discussing summer blockbusters, Bailey had this succinct takedown for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic Park, I see you. You're fake. It's science fiction, <laughs> Bailey. OK, so I guess I'll just shut up. No, no. After pronouncing Avengers Infinity War fake as well, our critic allowed that the superhero blockbuster was also pretty tight. As for her favorite character, I guess, like, Thanos was pretty cool. Really? Isn't he, like, the bad guy? Or he's just, like, different. <laughs> it soon became clear that our intrepid reviewer actually has a huge crush on the most evil entity in the galaxy. Once his dark secret was revealed, Bailey begged Michael Che not to tell the object of her affection. If you text Thanos, <laughs> it's going to be, like, so bad. Never text Thanos. Words to live by. So what was your favorite moment from this week's SNL? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.